Today I want to bring you the top three things you should check if you buy uh, Elecraft K2 on eBay and it's advertised as it won't receive and won't transmit. So I just did that and as you can hear we're, we're transmitting. Things are working quite well now. And I'll show you what I found um, both on the schematic and in the radio. So in the schematic I'll show you very quickly that if someone buys a radio and for some other reason or or maybe a previous buyer, etc., takes the SSB adapter out. There are jumpers, W2 and W3, which are probably not in place. The easy way to do that is to put a jumper across pin one and three on J9 and one and three on J10. You can do that with just a cutoff resistor lead. So in my particular case, I needed J10, J9 and J10 jumpered as well as W5, which is the noise blanker, which will also disable your radio. So in my case, I put a jumper on J12 from pins one to six. That would that sort of eliminates the need to put the jumper physically on the board. So those three things brought my radio back and uh, actually the fourth. So the transmit side was then here, C167 was removed, as it says, remove 167 when the SSB adapter is installed and that prevents the transmit side from working as well. So I, again, I didn't add the, the cap back. Um, I put a cap across pin seven and 12. And to test, actually, I just put a jumper across and uh, didn't <laughs> seem to have any adverse effects because I was in a hurry and, and didn't think about it. So the only other thing I can show you is that there's one other odd chance that this may happen to you as well. So there's a wire here for the 160 meter antenna option. In my case, that was still installed. And then there's another one here in case there's a transverter that was removed and mine again was in place. So that's actually five places to check, but at least you got the idea on the top three. So let me pull the top cover and I'll show you my quick hacks to get back on the air. And then I'm gonna have to add C167 back. So I think we can, uh, oh, we can turn on the light here a little bit better and I can point out here is where, let's see, we can zoom a bit. Here is where C167 belongs and you can see that's missing. So I have a wire across there that honestly should have been a cap, but uh, my mistake, I'll, I'll replace that in a bit. And then where the SSB adapter goes in here, there's J9 and 10. You can see those two wires across pin one and three. So that, that fixed that issue. So in my case, that got me back on the air. Um, you may have other options missing. You can find those other wires. So for example, for the 160 meter antenna or for the transverter, there's a wire back in this corner that might be missing. But in my case, that got me back on the road again. And now I can go about cleaning it up and uh, putting in some real solutions, put that cap back in C167 here and I'll be in business. Probably, uh, whoops and some cleaning of where the controls were sort of left in one position for a long time and stop hitting the key and uh, yeah, you can see sort of dirt where these were sitting for a long time and then dirt on the spinner but i think once i do that i'll have a good cw radio so it's uh, k2 back in action thanks for watching